So in this part of my video, I'm just showing you what I brought on my trip. Just some clothes, purses, toiletries, shoes, sheets, and I think that's about it. My flight at the airport, I think it was like at 9 o'clock. So I got there by 6. That was a beautiful view of like over the water. I had to catch it. Um, the flight was only two hours from Atlanta. Alright, so I finally made it to my destination. I'm in the Cayman Islands, solo traveling. It's my first time. I'm excited. The only like little hiccup on the first day is when I got my rental car. You know, you have to drive on the left side of the road. I drove in a circle like three times. <laughs> but it's gonna be okay. It's just day one. I'm getting used to it. But we gonna have it. I'm currently at my Airbnb. I'm gonna get dressed and try to find a SIM card because I'm not about to give rides and ten dollars a day for no data. So let's go find one and get dressed. I did want to show you. I got this little cute little. Um, it's called tripod off of Instagram. This is what it is. The name, what it looks like. It goes up to 62 inches, and it Bluetooths to your phone, and you can take pictures and videos, start and stop, whatever you need to do. So I thought it was pretty cute to show y'all this. Here I'm just previewing my Airbnb, and then you'll see the video for my next day. So that's the car I rented down there. It only cost me two twenty six for basically five days and it's raining it's been pouring for like an hour now hopefully it stops so i can get out and go do something fun so i am getting ready to go to a brewery um it's not too far from here it's like 15 minutes from where i live uh and then i'm gonna stop and give me some jerk patties but this should be fun we're gonna be taste testing around I had to wait and stop for it to rain because it's been raining for like almost two hours now, so it finally stopped. So I'm excited. So here I finally got two breweries called the Cayman Spritz. I had such an amazing time here. Um, I met like a group of people that was like on a, a work trip and then I met another group that um, two of the people had just graduated. So it was really cool. Um, they gave us shots. I believe I took like six shots. But I tell you, I was tipsy. I was tipsy. There was like, if you're not ready to go, you don't have to go. Luckily, before I came here, I had bought like, I think I bought like a jerk patty and like this coconut bread. And I sure ate that in the car before I even left. Because I was like, yeah, I need to make sure I'm sober <laughs> before I leave here. But this was a good um, a tour. I believe it only cost me $15. Yeah, it only cost me $15. And the whole trip, the excursions, um, total cost for the excursions were like $19. Um, here he was just explaining about the shot and um, he was telling us little jokes and stuff like that. <laughs> I believe that was the, um, I think it was like a banana shot. And then here I went downtown to the plaza. I wanted to go and buy some souvenirs. And I'm just leaving and taking a ride. I believe I was going to the beach at this point, but the view was just beautiful. And those are just houses, like huge houses. I was saying, like Cayman Islands, it is expensive. <laughs> like I spent the load $244 in food alone like almost i spent more on food than i did my car rental i only spent 20 what 226 yeah on my car rental but yeah overall this was a fun solo trip this beach right here i believe it was called smith's beach it was so beautiful i took a couple of pictures here it was just it was wonderful. I stayed here for like two hours and I had to leave because I was like, I'm <laughs>
this was another part of my excursion. This one was the Stingray tour. This only cost me $63 and they took it to like where you can like go snorkeling underwater. Then they also took you to see like stingrays and starfish, which you'll see later on in the video. But I had like a wonderful time. And I even met a girl here, her name was um Chassia. And we were able to bond like later on. Right, in the this, this trip was amazing. Like, you can see the fishes and everything. I need to get a better underwater um, camera cover or whatever. Because every time I went under the water, like, the camera got blurry. But you can see how crystal clear the water is. It is beautiful. I definitely recommend if you can go, go. This is where we're at with the stingrays. We were able to take pictures with them and hold them and everything and feed them. When I tell you feeding them was like kind of scary, it was like, I don't know if you ever had a feeling when you had your hand like under a vacuum, like how your hand gets stuck with the vacuum cleaner. Like that's how, like how hard like they suck the food up. <laughs> it sounds weird, but yes. Like it was weird, like a weird feeling. I thought they were going to take my hand. And this is where we went to see the starfish. They was like, you cannot take the starfish out of water because it's like a billion dollar fine. I was like, yeah, we're gonna keep them in the water. But there's so many of them. Sorry my video is kind of choppy, but this is where I went to go eat with my friend Chassia that I met. It was just amazing sunset food. And the food was delicious. <laughs> I believe I got like some fish and stuff like that too. This is it. And I believe I'm going to be showing, yes this is the next day. I'm just showing the views. I'm, I think I was headed towards, it was called the Queen Botanic Gardens. And I want to, this only cost me $12.50, but I had to drive like 20 minutes from where I stayed, but it was an amazing time. I sweat. When I tell you I was sweating, I was sweating. Um, I forgot to bring my tripod with me. I was like, I didn't want to carry it around. So majority of my pictures I have propped it on my bag. In this video, this is just showing like one of the kitchens that I saw in the back of one of their um, houses they had. Um, what you call it? In the, I guess the museum, let's just say museum. Here, I was having a fit. <laughs> I was having a complete fit. I was fighting off bugs and I was hearing things. I was just like, let me get out of here. And then I didn't go to the iguana side because it was like an extra $6. I was like, it's not that point. I'm not about to walk like a whole mile by myself in woods to go see iguanas. And luckily, I seen one here and he was, I first thought it was fake, <laughs> but he opened his mouth. So I left the botanic, now I'm heading back to my Airbnb to get dressed and get ready to go to the beach. This beach I went to was called Seven Mile Beach, it was beautiful. It's on like a strip where a lot of resorts are, so you'll see like it'll say private beach, but in like in between the hotels it'll say like public access to the beach, just walk through there and you'll get to this paradise. And I stayed here for like two hours, it was amazing. And here I'm just posting pictures of basically my trip. It was an amazing time. Show you my cute outfits, a little beach pose. But yes, I hope you enjoyed the video like I enjoyed this trip. If 
you are thinking of going on a solo trip, I would definitely do this one as your first solo trip because this is what I did for me. I didn't never felt unsafe. Everybody was nice. This was Chasia. She came and hung out with me. I met her down there. She's also kind of a solo traveler and she was pretty cool to meet. And it was just, it was amazing. But yes, I hope you enjoyed the video because it took me a minute to try to figure out this stuff. <laughs> but yes.